welcome to the third of our Daily Draw films, where we're drawing critically endangered species from around the world, all as part of the global collaborative artwork with Nature 2020. Now, this project is seeking to draw attention to some of the species that are living on the brink of extinction, because if all of us, each and every one of us, understands the issue of bio biodiversity loss a little better, we can make choices that might help to keep some or even all of these species alive. Now, today's species in this video lives in the Atlantic forests on the southeastern coast of Brazil, and you're going to love it. It's the northern muruki, or woolly spider monkey. Now, apart from just being an incredibly sweet creature, these monkeys are noted for the fact that they spend, and this is the most adorable quote, they spend more time hugging each other than fighting. In fact, they're so relaxed that they're sometimes known as hippie monkeys. Now, I love this monkey already, and I can't wait to start drawing him. So grab your pencil and let's get going. So we're going to draw our Moriki monkeys and we're going to just start with all you need is a piece of paper and a pencil. Rubber might come in handy, but just a piece of paper and a pencil, that's all. So the finished monkey that I've done is in using coloured pencils and I have just used a really small selection of browns really of coloured pencils and a black. But if you've not got coloured pencils, you could just do it in pencil and then um, send it off to the email address and be part of the bigger picture. Have your Moriki monkey become part of the, the with nature, uh, the at with nature 2020 project. So uh, this is where we're going to finish. If it looks really complicated, please don't panic. This is where we're going to start. You see, really simple shapes. So if you're thinking, how on earth are we going to go from here to there? Well, let me show you. So three simple steps. We're going to start with these simple shapes. We're going to loosen them up. Can you see we're just going to loosen all those lines? So all those first lines, let's make them very light. I'm going to loosely make them into nice fur. And then we're just going to finish off with a few details. But at that point, the work's done. So actually, the toughest bit is here. How hard is that? It's a few lines, a couple of few triangles, a couple of curves. So let's put him aside where we're going to finish. Absolutely anyone can do this. You do not need to be able to draw. So really, please remember that. Let's just start. One of the first things I teach anyone is to hold your pencil really loosely. If you grip your pencil tightly or hold it as you hold it when you write, it's really difficult to draw. So to, for drawing, immediately just move your, pe your grip up the pencil and keep your pencil grip nice and loose like that. That's all we're going to start with now. You don't need a ruler because we're going to rub all these out. The key is that you keep these lines really light because we're going to need to um, get rid of them. So I'm going to start here by putting these two straight lines up there. See, you can see how loose they are. Not even straight. I've done them a couple of times and we're going to just join them. We've got a curve, a natural curve in the wrist. So just join them by curving it up like that. How easy was that? Now, if I bring this in, what you'll see is if I go to the middle of those lines, it's about there and there. So if I put that dot there, can you see? That'll help us. So I go into the middle, find about the middle of it there. I'm going to go above it slightly and draw a straight line. And I'm going to go below it about, that's probably about an inch, about two and a half centimetres. And I'll draw another line there. Right, from here, I'm going to take it up like this. And I'm just going to do a rectangle. And from there, I'm going to have a triangle. Now I'm going to pause in a minute and you'll be able to see how to do this. So you can either draw along with me or just wait till I get to the end of each step. And then you'll be able to, to just do it in your own time at your own pace. I'm going to take that out line out and I've got a small curve there. This is what's going to become his nose. And I've got another one here, there, like that. And then I'm going to carry that one down and I'm going to draw another line there. 
this one, I'm going to carry it down to there. So we've got that curve. So there are middle shapes there. Now let's finish it off with this shape here. So if I come just towards the top, not the middle, but towards the top here of that rectangle, and I'm going to go, actually, that's too big. Let's start again. Don't worry about making mistakes, just keep checking. And from there, I am going to go around. I'll give myself a little marker. I want it to finish about there. Keep, can you see how loosely my pencil grip is? I'll do the marks a few times because I want to get it. There we go. It's all about getting the size right now. I'm going to leave a gap. So we've got a gap there. I'm going to do the same now. Now, all the, we're all going to rub all these out. So these are just our guidelines. So keep them nice and light, even lighter than I'm doing it. I'm doing it a bit darker so you can actually see it, but we want it nice and light. So we've got those shapes in, right? But here, I'm just gonna draw a triangle, nice and loosely. With another one there, one, two, and another line. That's it, how easy is that? A few lines, couple of curves, and we are on our way, that's step one. So if you pause now and then put those shapes in. So step two, you can see if you look here and I'm gonna pause again in a, in a couple of minutes where you will see this bit and you can just focus on that. Look at where the red lines are. They're the lines you've just put in. All we're gonna do is we're going to rub out each line and then just put in these um, the just small lines to indicate fur and we'll just loosen off a few and we'll just start here at the top so if I gently I'm not rubbing it all out because I want to still see where it is I can see where it is but it's nearly gone then I'm thinking about the direction of the fur holding my pencil very lightly and I'm just going to take these little lines out here Now I'm going to turn the direction of the fur that way. There we go. Well, it feels like it's really too big, but it's it's not. This is this will work. It definitely will work. Okay, if I rub the top of that triangle line, not completely, I can still see it. I'm going to go underneath there slightly. I'll take the fur out to there. So if I bring this in, that might make it easier. And you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to go here, I'll stick to where the triangle line was, but there I'm going to come out slightly. Can you see? I've got a few lines in here and a few there. Okay. I'll rub that line out. Same here, just going to make it nice and loose at the bottom. Right, let's come to this side now and we'll do exactly the same here. Get rid of that triangle line. You can see, I'll bring my pencil around here, just keeping my pencil marks very loose. It's my favorite way to draw like this. Just keeping marks very loose and simple. And you turn something which looks quite complex into something that's simply a few shapes with this um, uh, amazing murky we are really focusing here on um, just getting those basic shapes in and then turning it into something which is going to represent our fabulous primate I'm going to put a link in the um, in the YouTube description about this video, a link to something that Emma, the um, With Nature 2020 organiser, sent to me, which uh, about this incredible monkey, and I it, it's made me totally fall in love with it and realise how important it is um, to raise awareness of its plight. Right, I'm going to come and do exactly the same here now around that circle. So. Rubbing that out and then keeping it nice and loose. And I'm really thinking about the direction of the marks I'm making. Can you see? That's a, it's a very fancy way of just saying which way the pencil's going in. 
Here I'm going to do the same. I'm going to take out that triangle there. I'm just going to put in these loose lines here. Now coming round here, I'm going to keep just keep I'm just keeping on doing the same. You see he's already starting to look a little bit more like a monkey, isn't he? We've lost that slightly robotic feel we had just from the lines. But the lines just give us a guideline. They give us a bit of um, reassurance that we've got everything in the right place. That's all drawing is, really. Just getting things the right size in the right place. Okay. Now, this line here I've put to help us to put his uh, mouth line because it, it feels a bit odd if you... So we want it to cross over there and then come up. If you want to make your monkey smiley, do. I was working from a photograph for this and he did look a little bit sad. But please feel free to put a smile on if you want to. But listening to the um, stories about this uh, species fight for survival did actually make me feel pretty sad. Okay, so well, let's come into that line there. Rub those bits out. And we'll just bring it in. There, now I've left this one in so that I can come in here and go one, two. I wonder if you can see it. If I, I think we probably can't, but if I just... You see we've got these. You'll see it when you pause, come to the pause. We've got those marks there. One, two, and then... This will become the nose at the next stage. I'll just move that across there. So you can just see it. We're going to come in now and finish off with there, and then we'll put the eye in, and then we're done for this stage. We're actually almost done with the drawing, so it's not anywhere near as complicated as it first looks. And anyone can do this. So tell your friends, tell your family. So we're going to now go. Let's work out where we want to put that eye and I'm going to go there and I'm going to start with the small circle and then from the small circle I'm going to put another circle and at the next stage we're going to come in and we're going to turn that round eye into this but we'll do that at the next stage. So we've got that eye in there and I want to come in here. It's almost at the same level down slightly it's really important to you'll you'll know if it doesn't if it doesn't look right I feel like that's right so we've got the circle and then we've got another little circle and I'll just do a bit more rubbing and there we go he's now starting to look a little more like our amazing Moriki monkey so let's pause there if you look at this bit and get yourself to that stage two. Right, let's finish him off. So all we've got to do is a little bit of detail really around here and the eyes. Now look, remember you've already got that circle in. So all we're going to do, let me put that there so you can just see it there. You see at the edge there. I'm going to put that in and then I'm going to do the same here, just a little, it's almost like a little triangle. And what we'll really see here, this is the same when you're drawing any face really, is the importance of the eyelids. So let's just put a little eyelid around there and another bit there. And suddenly that eye is really coming up. And then in there, Let's put a tiny dot, which will become a little highlight when we've put, it doesn't make sense at the moment, but when we've got the black in, it really will. Let's come to the other side now. If I move that slightly, I'll move that so you can see what I'm working on. Right, I've got this bit here coming in. Let me see, small triangle. Another one there. Little line round bit more underneath there. Let's put another couple of lines there. 
And here I want to build quite a bold line there. And I'm going to darken that there. Can you see how suddenly he's starting to look more like our monkey? Now here for his nose, I'm just going to curve that round slightly and start to shade in these bits. And again, we're going to work on this with our coloured pencil at the next stage. But I do want to make his mouth a little higher. And if you want, you can put in his little marks here. And we're going to put in those again with the coloured pencil at the next stage. I'm just going to rub that little mark out. And I think we're pretty much ready to move on with our coloured pencils. And I really hope you're sitting there thinking, that was much easier than I thought. But before we move on to the coloured pencils, really want to talk to you uh, some more about, um, about this incredible species and what you can do to become part of the With Nature 2020 special project taking place all around the world on the 22nd of May. So please, please don't fast forward, just listen for a minute or two and then we're gonna come back with our coloured pencils. Before we move on to our colouring in, let's talk about this wonderful monkey. Now, one of the most notable things about the northern murrakee is that although, like us, it's a species of primate, unlike us, it lives peaceably and without conflict. We can learn so much about behaviour and find inspiration for design and technology by looking at the solutions that nature has evolved and by Understanding more about how Northern Moroccan society is structured, perhaps we can get some ideas about what to do in our own society. Now, as with our daily draws for Ghana and for Bulgaria, the idea of this film is to encourage you to contribute to With Nature 2020, which is a collaborative art project which is going to generate these giant images of endangered species at different locations right across the world on the 22nd of May this year, the International Day for Biodiversity. Why is it doing that? Well, the project wants to get people thinking and talking about biodiversity because at the moment, we are losing species far too fast, at 100 to 1,000 times the rate which we have naturally lost them. And it's happening for a variety of reasons. But this monkey exemplifies one of the principal reasons, and that is habitat destruction. With an increasing number of humans on the planet, there is more demand for land, for people to live on, and also for agriculture. Where the northern Muraki lives, more than 85% of the Atlantic forest has been cut down already. Luckily for this monkey, there is a fragment of remaining forest which is protected from logging. That is because of the foresight of a coffee farmer who realised that, that this forest was important for his crops in terms of assuring water supply and he decided to preserve it. Now, within that protected area, the population of monkeys has increased from 50 to 350. That's a sevenfold increase. And that's since the 1980s. So this really shows that populations can begin to recover when they're given the chance. But the battle isn't over yet. The northern Muraki is still considered to be critically endangered. So in Belo Horizonte, a city which is near to the remaining pockets of this forest in Brazil, where the monkey still lives, they want to create a giant image of their monkey for With Nature 2020. They'd hoped to do this in reality, but the city was recently locked down. So the image will be digital. How can you help? Well, by sending your drawing to murikibh2020 at gmail.com, you can help them be part of the bigger picture. I'm going to put this, this address on again and again. Every picture that they get becomes a giant, a pixel in this giant image and every single one of them counts. So draw your picture, colour it in, send it to the email address, so simple, such a simple step, send it to the email address and you will be part of this bigger picture for Brazil.
you know now what to do once you've finished now if you you can do this in in pens in felt tip pens in crayons in colored pencils whatever you can get your hands on or just use your pencil and shade it a little bit just do the darks that i'm going to show you here with your pencil you can just shade it a little and send it in it doesn't matter if you feel like it's a brilliant work of art or if you just think it looks like a very funny little monkey it's fine just send it into the email address and put we'll put them all together to make them part of this wonderful picture to represent this amazing species now i'm using a mix of pencils here i've got a very pale kind of pinky color here that i'm going to use I'll bring the coloured in. I'm going to use that here to start off with. And a black. And then a brown. So I've actually got a few browns here. But what I'm the key colour I'm going to show you here, I'll bring a bit of spare paper in there, is this, which is a kind of, well, it's a yellow ochre really, is what I'd call it as a being a, a, an artist, but it's just like a, a, a a yellow now if you've just got an ordinary yellow rather than this browner yellow just use an ordinary yellow and use it quite lightly but you're still going to get that nice yellow effect um brown wise whatever you can get your hands on these pencils i found in my drawer i've actually had them since i was eight years old i'm considerably older now so these have been coming around traveling around with me for about 40 years um so i've got a few different browns here but really any brown will do so just pick it up and have a go. And I'm, just before I start onto the picture, let me show you that I'm going to use a couple of different pencil techniques. And if I do them with the brown, I'll show you. One is that we can use the pencil on its side like that. And we can shade really quickly big areas there like that. But then we can also use it to show a direction of fur. Like this. And then if we want, we can go really hard and pressing and we do something you can do something called hatching like that and then cross hatching across like that but a lot of the with pencil a lot of it is about how hard you press or how light you press can you see the difference that's all it is it's just about pressure colored pencils are absolute joy i really do love them um so just grab whatever you can i've got this color if i bring it back in which is a kind of orangey brown for his eyes but what really whatever you can get your it really doesn't matter whatever you can get your hands on so let me just go through this quite quickly i'm going to show you how i did it now the first thing i did was on its side i went over the hole of this bit in this pale pink and then I took a brown, a darkish brown, and I went over the whole of that. You see, I'm just using the pencil on the side and shading. Now, I'm gonna use that funny yellow color. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna turn it, turn my page slightly. So I want to feel like I've, I'm getting the direction of the fur. So there's nothing very neat, is there, here, about how I'm doing it. I'm just blocking. It's called blocking in. I'm just blocking in the colour, really. This is what I'd do if I was painting. And you can do this with pencils. Or you can do it with crayons. With felt tips, maybe just use the felt tips. Um in the direction of the fur. That's probably the best way to do it. Let's come around here. And I'm gonna do the bottom. Let me see, he's starting to look like his monkey self now, isn't he? All right. So from there, I'm gonna take a slightly darker brown here and I'm gonna start going in here, which is like a little ear bit. Darken that down. I'm going to come in here and I'm going to darken that as well. I'm actually going to take that right up there. Now, if you've got a darker brown, that's pretty handy and you could use that for this bit here which is 
where his sort of body is coming out so if he's leaning to the side if you've not you could just use a brown underneath and then pop a black on top So I feel like we've started to get his colours in, but let's have a little work in on those eyes. It always comes alive when we get the eyes in. Now I'm going to use this reddish brown here, but any brown will do. And you can see the difference. I'm not going on the side nice and lightly. I'm really going quite hard there because I want some great colour in. Then I'm going to take my black. I'm going to go here for the pupil, but I'm going to leave, you see there, a little highlight. And I'm pressing pretty hard there. Let's do the same on this side. I'm going to leave two highlights there, one there, one there. And then let's really Bring in you see how what a difference it makes when the eyes go in. Same round here. Now, wherever you are in the world, you can send your amazing Moroki Monkey in to the organisers in Brazil and be part of their making of the bigger picture here. Now, those bits there, I'm just going to come in very lightly with a brown. Just colour that there as well. There. And then I'm really going to use a lot of black. So coming down here, I'm thinking about that direction of the fur. And in here. And bring more black. It's quite dark this bit around the under the eyes. But remember what I said at the beginning: the harder you press, there we go. So I'm pressing quite hard now to really get that idea of the black coming out. And you can spend your time working on this. And if you want, you can go in and let's pop a bit more brown in, make that bit darker. You can add a bit of dark brown there in the eyes as well. And we do the same around the other side. There, so nice and dark around the edge. really dark here and then I'm kind of going in as if it's fur and then I'll take that dark brown Now here in the central bit of the nose, it's almost like we're bringing the fur as if it's coming in and then out there like that. And then let's bring the nose. So now I'm pressing really hard. I've got those little nostrils there. Got a little thing coming up.
and then here just a little bit with the black we're not going too hard there but let's go in with the mouth I wonder how many we'll give him a little smile I'm kind of tempted to myself I might bring him up at his mouth up a little there And I'm just going to use my pencil nice and lightly all the way around. And what you can do at the end is you can stop and pause it and have a look. Maybe have a Google and have a little look at some of these monkeys. Find some pictures of them. Find one that you really like and you could base your fur colours on a photo. I'm just hatching, just coming up, just doing a bit of shading there and a little bit around here as well. underneath and you'll see that when you pause you can stop and pause you can see where all the shading is but just using my black pencil there round about and then I'm going to put in some of these little you can do those in black you could do those in brown there and I'm going to bring that around now before I put my black pencil down what I am going to do is just I'm holding it so lightly here and I'm not pressing hard just trying to give the impression Fur. and I'm going to do that all the way around I won't do it properly when if I it you can take it really take your time here but look how I'm going I'm trying to go keep the marks going in the direction of the fur coming around and you can do that again Take this, the yellow one, that yellow one, and do that again. I won't finish it off. Just do that all over. Take your time. And you could bring in a bit of brown, and you could do the same with some brown. So you're pulling in. You're really giving the impression of that fur coming all the way around. And here, over this bit, just a few marks will turn it into being that ear. And the same round here of just taking it in making it darker and you can play as much as you like go between all those different colors those different browns and really pull your monkey out and you could give him a, a gorgeous green background as well but whatever you do make sure you take a photo or scan it in and send it to the address we're going to show now Northern Muraki, and I'm going to be showing you again the email address that you can send your drawings to. It's going to be a slide right just at the end, just in a minute. But first, a reminder it's not too late to watch our other daily draws for the project. We've got the White Knight Picathartes for Ghana and the Dalmatian Pelican for Bulgaria. And you can find out more about all these episodes about biodiversity and what we can all do to protect it if you follow with nature. 2020 on social media at with nature 2020 and you're going to see our very own our giant image of a scottish wild cat which was designed by nathan connell from the little art school scotland and that's going to take take with all the other designs on the 22nd of may so thank you for watching today please please send your drawings for bello horizonte and goodbye mm -hmm.